Who is a global citizen for you? Is that the person who travels around the world? Is that person who has a good command of many languages? Well, you may imagine frequent travelers all over the world or multilingual people are global citizens. But I have another image of global citizen. Tomohiro Ono is a senior student in my school. He has never lived in foreign countries. He cannot communicate with people in other countries fluently. However, I think he is a real global citizen. First of all, Tomohiro loves earth science. Not only he loves it, but also he has studied her and got the third place in Japan Earth Science Olympiad. He also does many after school activities such as going to river beaches for collecting mineral ores and making a planetarium with his friends. That is, he has found his strong field of geology and made efforts to develop his ability. Next, he's not satisfied with his own study. He met other participants at the Olympiad and came to know what other students study. And now he's interested in some other fields too, like railroads, arts, and so on. In this way, he takes interest not only in his field, but also in other fields. Furthermore, his knowledge is spreading to others, and it has become helpful to them. Last year, he talked about geology in a school event called Public Speaking, where students make English speeches on various topics. He told that many young people were not interested in geology, but that it's interesting and actually important to us. A large audience felt his enthusiasm. I was impressed too. I've become curious about earth science and started searching many types of mineral ores or space construction. Actually, this makes my life richer. Last year, I went on a school trip to Mount Norikula, which is one of the most famous mountains in Japan. I enjoyed the beautiful scenery of Japanese South Alps, but at the same time, I enjoyed correcting ores. There were tons of unique rocks formed from volcanoes. I couldn't have enjoyed the natural product if I hadn't learned about minerals before. That is, I was able to enjoy my trip thanks to Tomohiro's sharing knowledge with us. Now, let me describe Tomohiro again. He understands his strength and makes efforts to develop it. He also takes interest in other people, share his knowledge with others, and makes their lives better. Considering this, I think he shows a common qualities for global citizens. For example, Albert Schweitzer, who was the founder of the Albert Schweitzer Hospital. He was born in Germany and studied theology at the University in France, but he enrolled again to study at the Department of Medicine and took a doctor's degree. That is, he specialized in one subject once, but he made efforts to improve his skill. After that, he knew that there were few hospitals in Garmin, which is a quite poor country in West Central Africa. Then, he moved there, lived in a culturally different country, and changed his lifestyle to found his hospital. That is, he was curious about an unfamiliar world to him and recognized what people needed. Then, he devoted his whole life to help people in Gabon by his medical treatment. This shows he used his skill to help others' lives. Another example is about Maza Teresa, a Nobel Peace Prize winner. She was born in Skopje and moved to Kolkata, where she founded the Missionaries of Charity. There, she managed homes for people dying of HIV, leprosy, and tuberculosis. She helped the poorest of the poor by her religious activities. The other person is Idris Ayodeji Bello. He's a computer engineer who was born in Nigeria and studied computer science there. After he worked for a multinational company, he contributed to set up offline wire services to Africans who have no access to the internet and brought online education to an offline world. These people, Albot, Maza Teresa, and Idris, are certainly global citizens from the point of view of interacting with people from other countries. However, I want to point out different aspects as global citizens. They all had astonishing skills and applied them to provide hospitals, homes, and education. This is what exactly Tomohiro does. Tomohiro Ono is a student in a local high school in Japan. 
and he found his strength and uses it to help others. That is, such a local citizen can be a global citizen. Do we have to travel around the world in order to become a global citizen? Do we have to speak other languages fluently to become a global citizen? No. In order to become a global citizen, we should advance our strong points. We should get interested in other cultures and recognize differences among us. We should use our own skills to help other people. By doing so, we can become a global citizen, even if we are just local citizens. Shall we make a better world by our uniquenesses?